And we put our orders in. I ordered a, a macaroni, macaroni, mac and cheese hot dog, basically. That's bacon. bacon on and stuff. And uh, Ted ordered his usual sample platter, everything. Walt got a burger. And Alan. Alan drove 90 miles, guys, to get a cop salad. Welcome to another episode of Las Vegas and Beyond. Today, we are gonna be heading to Kingman, Arizona. We're gonna meet up with Walt from the Frontiersman Travel Adventures, and we're gonna go explore Route 66. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing my gator. That's because I'm being joined by Joe from Straight Out of Vegas and Ted from Sleepless in Las Vegas. I think because I live closer to Kingman, I'm the one who's driving. And if you're new to the channel, please think about clicking on that subscribe button down below. Do these convenience stores, they get you. I can't buy two, because it's two for three. I can't buy two coffee drinks, because it's two for four. I mean, I can't buy one. So if you don't know him, that's Joe from Straight Out of Vegas. What's up, guys? Sit How do you not know me, first of all? <laughs> you should know me. Check out my channel, too. Make sure you subscribe to Joe, just like Ted, from Sleepless in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Hi. Last time we Hi. did a road trip was uh, Laughlin. So let's get started with today's video. Right, guys i'm here with walt frontiersman travel adventures you remember walt from our rhyolite Beatty, totopog goldfield indian springs <laughs> yes it was a great weekend and a lot of adventures yeah we're in kingman where walt resides right now and you can hear the train there's <laughs> always a train in kingman if you haven't subscribed to walt make sure you do so right behind me is engine number 3759 which was the engine that actually pulled passenger cars. I believe it was built in 1928, traveled over 2.5 million miles, and they retired it in 1952. I know there was a story that the Grand Canyon Railway wanted to buy this car or engine to use for their tour from Williams to the Grand Canyon. place that Ted wanted to come and so we drove 90 miles just to eat at Mr. D's. Trying to figure out what to eat. They do have their locally made, homemade root beer here. I didn't order it. The guys order it and see what their reaction is. I'm trying to watch what I eat because I've been doing so good this year. I don't want to wreck it all. It's good either. Is it? Yeah. Got to say, got to say Bart's a little bit. Bart's and AMW mixed together a little bit. It must be good. <laughs> it's pretty It's pretty good. I, it's actually not as sweet as I like it to be though, actually. You can tell it's homemade though. You can tell it's, it's own homemade. Yeah. It's very good though. It's very good. But I think I'm used to like, like the A&W and the Barks are more. Barks isn't as sweet as A&W. I'm used to A&W, it's very sweet. You can tell this one's not as sweet, but it's very flavorful though, for the root beer part. I don't yeah. drink drinks with sugar in them, not like, unless it's uh, a mixed drink every once in a while. So I like this, because it's just the, the sweetness is not overbearing and I can taste more of the, the root beer flavor, so it's really good. And we put our orders in, I ordered a, a macaroni, Macaroni, mac and cheese hot dog, basically. That's bacon on and stuff. And uh, Ted ordered his usual sample platter, everything. Walt got a burger. And Alan. Alan drove 90 miles, guys, to get a cop salad. Oh, God, I wish I didn't have the camera. So I chickened out, and I ordered a cop salad. 
with ranch dressing on the side. And it's got jalapenos and all kind of goodies and I got sweet potato fries. That is really good stuff right there. And then Ted got, what was this, Ted? It's like a Western kind of burger. Cool. That's good. So on the drive in, we were talking about helping Ted make two daily vlogs. Part two was gonna go to Fox's Barbecue in Boulder City. And he said, well, I'll eat really light. So this is what eating light looks like. Cheese burger fries, mozzarella sticks. And onion rings. And onion rings, bacon, cheese. And I, look at this hot dog. I don't know if I've ever seen a hot dog like that. <laughs> oh my God. Got macaroni and cheese and bacon on it. So Walt, how was yours? It was excellent. That, I've eaten here several times and the burgers are always good. And I've had their uh, chicken fried steak and that is great. So everything that came out looked good today. My burger was good. And the sweet potato fries. Pretty much finished my salad. I know I have my napkins all over it, but it was really good filling. How was your mac and cheese and bacon dog? My mac and cheese bacon dog was very good until my battery ran out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it was very good. It's all beef hot dog, uh, mac and cheese. Uh, the mac wasn't uh, mushy, you know what I mean? It was nice and firm. And uh, bacon crumbles were good. They weren't, I don't like extra crispy bacon crumbles. They were just right. And I really liked the fries as well also. They were, they were light and crispy and uh, not very heavy. So very tasty also. I didn't need any ketchup or anything. So it was good. I saw you had a light lunch today. Yeah, this was a uh, light breakfast and lunch together. Brunch. This is brunch. And did you save your room for dessert? I did. I ordered a 10 roof Sunday. I just want to try it. I don't plan on eating the whole thing. Well, they have a lot of menu items, so I'll probably try something different. Got it. That was good stuff. I'll pretty much order everything again. Mr. D's in Kingman and I wanted to check out Hackberry General Store. Now it's located about 30 miles east on Route 66. The artist who purchased this general store actually made it more of a visitor center. I did manage to talk to the owner because of the sign about no drone zone. She said that's actually up there for when they were so busy, people would fly drones and could cause an accident here on Route 66, especially with people driving at 65 miles an hour. Let's go check out the general store. So it's definitely a beautiful day today here in Hackberry. 67 degrees, it is just gorgeous out. We are not watching the Super Bowl. Next stop is a uh, giant tiki, I think it's eight feet tall, called Giganticus Hedicus. We made it to Antares Road, or they call it Antares Point. Local artist Greg Arnold created that 14 foot tall tiki head behind me around 2003 and 2004. And he also installed other art pieces here. So let's go walk around and check them out. again for being a gracious host. Thank you all. I really, I had a great day because I was, you know, I've been in the desert by myself and wasn't talking to anybody for days. So <laughs> it's nice to have human interaction with people, people and, and bees and stuff like that. So it's been a good day. Before I say goodbye, I needed to give Joe a present. Here you go. Thanks brother. So guys, Alan has tons of merch now that's available. He, I'm a be, official Beyonder now. He gave me a pin, which I'm dying to get. I can put on my, my backpack. Thanks for inviting me out uh, today, and thanks for driving and, and, and taking the city boy out. Thank you for coming along. Right, it's always fun. Until the next video.
Ted is ready. Ted, are you ready to go? I'm just editing. He, see, he's got to get that vlog done. And uh, who's, who's your chauffeur taking you home? I'm waiting for my ride. Don't forget to check in the description because his link is below. He is daily vlogging, so make sure you watch them. They are hilarious. That'll do it for this video. So if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below and ring the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.